All right, you guys, let's talk about creating an Adobe Spark page. It's kind of like an end of the year summary of all of your best photos. So to do that, we're going to jump here onto the internet and go to spark.adobe.com. And that's going to drop us right here on this page. Go ahead and click on sign in up here in the top right hand corner. And we're going to just continue with Google. And I'm already signed into my school email account through Google. So that's going to happen pretty quickly. You might have to sign in with your email address and whatnot. And that's fine too. So let's get started here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a web page. So right here on this first screen, we'll just click right on a web page to get started. And let's see what happens. Before we even start, let's go up here to themes in the top right hand corner. And these are all the different themes that uh, Spark has already created for you. You can kind of pick one and decide which one looks good for you. You can also just design your page and then come back and change the theme later. So if you uh, start with the theme and you get halfway through, you realize you don't like it, you can absolutely just switch by hitting that themes button right up there. So we're going to start by adding a title. You can call this whatever you want. You can be like my year in photography. Uh, and then let's throw a subtitle in here. You could be the, the Matt Johnson story. You put whatever you want there, something that kind of wraps up your year. Uh, we're going to come down here, click on this little plus sign. Maybe let's add a photo as a background. And then this is kind of cool because we're signed in. We can link directly to our Lightroom. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Lightroom. And it's going to look and see like what do I, what photos do I have in my Lightroom here? And maybe we want to use this one right here. This is going to dang that's beautiful and there you go that's loaded up high resolution and i love it so scroll to start writing your story so we're just going to scroll down here and you see next we can do all of these different options right here well let's take a look at the assignment and uh let's see we start with a title subtitle theme and a photo so great we've got that done and all of these should be relevant to your year blah blah, blah. okay Next, you'll be talking about your year. So next, we're going to add some text. So let's come back here to the uh, Spark page. And we're probably going to click on this dude right here to add some text. And uh, here's where you're going to put your feelings about this year. So honestly, this year was crap or whatever. You know, maybe the year was awesome for you. You decide. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit. Oh, I'm not. Get out of here. Tell me a little bit about your year. Um, what were some of your favorite assignments? What were some of your least favorite assignments? What kind of photography do you enjoy doing? And just any other random details you want to tell me about the year. <clears throat> After that, you need to start showing off your eight images. So let's go back here to Spark and we're going to move on here. So we're going to click on this plus sign now and we're going to add a photo next. And we're going to go, let's just add one from our Lightroom. Okay, so how about this one right here? And this is uh, one of my favorite photos right here. And so we'll import that. And these are all the different ways you can um, do your image. I don't like window, uh, but the rest of them I think work, work pretty well. So maybe we'll do a little fill screen there. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And look, you could put a caption right over here. I do want on all of your photos for you to put the exposure in the caption. So if for that, I'm going to have to jump back over to Lightroom. So let me open up Lightroom. And here is that photo that I just added. So I'm going to come down here, click on this little I button in the bottom right hand corner. And here's my exposure right here. My shutter speed was 1 over 4,000. My f-stop was f4 and my ISO was 100. So you would write that in your Spark page like this. Come in here, click in the caption. 1 over 4,000 at f4 at 400 was the ISO, if I remember right. And then you're going to come down below it and click on this little plus sign and we need to add some text. So I'm going to click on text here and let's check the assignment. It says to, um, we just included the exposure. Awesome. The assignment for which you took this photo and then tell me why this is a good photo. Why do you like it? Why is it good? Why does, uh, what about, what about this image makes it good? So you might talk about the rules of composition. You might talk about the lighting. You might talk about why your subject was interesting. All of those things that we learned about in this class. Maybe you used the right shutter speed to get the photo you want or the right f-stop to get the depth of field you want. Tell me about the photo in good photography vocabulary terms. You're going to do this for eight different images. So I've got one here. I've got seven more to go. One thing you may want to do is come in here into Lightroom and maybe just make an album. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to albums. I'm going to click on this plus sign right here. I'm going to go to create an album. And I might just call this my final eight. And I do want to include the selected photo because I do want that to be one of my photos. 
And remember, once you have an album created over here, my final eight, any other photo you want to add, like maybe I'll come in here landscape and be like, oh, I definitely want to add this one. You just click and drag that and it'll drop right into my final eight. And maybe there's one in here that you want to include. And maybe like, oh, yeah, definitely want this one right here. Just click and drag that into my final eight. And that way you just can find them very quickly. You can always come in, come in here and check the exposure and see that those details right there. And when you get back in Spark to add a photo next, we'll just go back to Lightroom Photos. We'll find the album My Final Eight right there. And then there's the photos that we're going to be adding to our Spark page. The last thing you want to add once you have all of your photos on here is like a little summary of the, excuse me, not a summary, but a final conclusion, right? Like wrap up your Spark page by telling me what grade you think you deserve on the final project. Where do you fall on this scale? I only put A, C, and F, but you might be like, well, I'm somewhere between an A and a C, so maybe you deserve a B. All right, so uh, there you go, you guys. That's how you're going to make your final website, your final project, your final portfolio for this class.